muted. Hi there, I'm Mark Sebastian, founder of OptionPit.com. And this is the volatility report reminder. This is for educational purpose only. None of this should be considered investment advice. Options have muted. Tomorrow is going to be our Black Friday sale. So we got our big Black Friday sale t- starting tomorrow, or not? Uh, yeah, starting Friday. Excuse me, not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Starting Friday, um, we're going to be offering discounts on everything in the store. So be on the lookout for that. That should be uh, a really nice deal. Um, all the coursework that you wanted, uh, that you want, will be 50% off in the store. So everything will be, you know, everything will be half off. So all the coursework that you wanted to buy uh, will be half off. You can go get it. Now, ahead of that, I'm doing a pre sale for listeners of the ball report and for, um, those that are Option Live people, if you're interested in doing gold or platinum, if you contact me today, um, I will have a better, a really nice deal for gold or platinum. But this is a pre-sale for listeners to this stuff only. I'm not emailing it out. I'm not going to be reaching out to people around it. So just an FYI. Um, speaking of FYI, how about VIX today? So you got the market down a little bit. You've got the VIX down again. Um, and You've got VIX futures getting uh, a little bit of a tarring. So you can see the DC futures down 11 and a half. Um, so that's been a nice move. So from from uh, from the beginning of the week to today, really, I guess Friday did it to today. So four tra- trading days, uh, DC future lost one and a half points. It got obliterated. Um, it went from like. 1290 to 11 and a half. In all these other futures, this this no future went from basically 12 to settling 978. Uh, so just a crazy amount of uh, kind of volatility came out of the market. Um, you can see January was 14, it's now 13. But all these premiums are now uh, about as cheap as we're going to see for a little bit. Now, I don't think there's a lot more to be made between now and Friday. If anything, maybe some of these futures tick up a little bit. And then I think next week they go back to trying to take these, this stuff down. Uh, you can see VXX, UVXY, all these names uh, see pressure over the next couple of days. Um, I would not put a lot of faith that there's going to be a ton of um, uh, a ton of, of, of uh Pops and volatility, I know it looks tempting to hedge, but these weeks are very slow. Uh, speaking of slow, uh, the SPX not moving around a lot. It's down 160. Uh, we think we could see things um, stay slower, but I mean, premiums are just in, are ridiculous. We had a 16 point rally today. All it takes is one buyer or one seller. And you can see this, this, contract expires middle of the day on Friday and it's five bucks it's three bucks out of the money and it costs two dollars and twenty cents um, meanwhile this contract exp- expires today and is 85 cents and it's legitimately three bucks away so if you think the S&P can rally four dollars from here uh, the 2600s are cheap it's just Amazing how low they've let these premiums go. I mean, four and a half, four and a half, five and a half. These premiums are not expensive. All right, I don't mind owning them. I don't mind owning them at. So, like I said, I, 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 these premiums are cheap. And you know, looking around, take a look at Apple. This is one where we thought the premium was too cheap. It continues to rally. They murdered. They've been murdering these premiums, but guess what? This straddle was three dollars, and you know this is an in-the-money straddle expiring next week, and it's three dollars and and sixty cents, three dollars and seven seventy cents. That's not expensive. I don't mind holding something like that. Um, I found that all these little fang stocks, uh, if they want to kill the the premiums uh, to the point of excess that there's an opportunity to, to hold hold some things there. I've got a, a couple of small trades on. 
I don't mind. I don't mind them. I think that you could see these things um, kind of. Uh, you know, I don't think the S&P is down in the day. I think you'll see some buying after the European close. You'll see some people step in, um, and things will move around from there. Um, other names I'm paying attention to. Um, you know, we're still watching AT&T. Some of these names. How about CRM? They clobber earnings, and the stock is get is getting beat. Um, we may look around this one. This is an interesting one. I mean, this is the first bump in what appears to be a straight up move, and you can see, and they took premiums all the way down. So I'm gonna play with this one maybe a little bit. We'll see. Um, you know, maybe there's something there. Um, looking at the individual ETFs, you can see none of them are really mounted. Energy's moving. Oil looks a little stronger today. Bonds look a little stronger today. Not a lot. And that's going to drive things. Retail, the the demise of retail apparently is a little underdone. Now that Walmart has stopped exploding higher, this is going to be, look at, take a look. This is kind of interesting. So there was a lot of paper flow into Walmart. It really exploded. Now it's kind of petered off. And look where the premium is now. Now is the time that I'm more interested in jumping into Walmart. It's Walmart premiums. Now that the stock is really moving. Um, so, you know, there there's going to be some, some funness that we're going to look at. Um, and you know, some of those names are kind of, kind of interesting in terms of where they could go on the day. Uh, the volatility products, um, like I said, we got slammed on the open. I think you could see as you'll see the S and P go green, uh, the rut's still green, the NASDAQ's green. I think they'll pull everything higher and eventually, uh, uh, especially with Apple rallying, I think Apple will keep running all day and it'll get to 170. I could see Apple going to 175 by Friday. That's just a guess. All right. You got questions, you can email me, marketoptionput.com, or you can call me, 888-TRADE-01. Uh, I will talk to you soon. And uh, again, be on the lookout for that stuff starting Friday morning.